sparked a passionate debate. WGN's political reporter Taman Bradley has the story. It's an effort to slow gentrification along the 606 trail and in Pilsen. By a 37-12 vote, today City Council approved a plan requiring developers in the red-hot real estate market who want to demolish existing buildings pay a fee of up to $15,000. The money collected will be used to fund affordable housing throughout Chicago. We know that a lot of these developers come, tear down homes and build mansions instead of the three flats or two flats that we have in our communities. Unfortunately, in communities like Pilsen, portions of Logan Square and Hermosa, we have lost a record number of naturally occurring affordable housing units. And so we have to take reasonable steps to protect those units. Not everyone was on board. I don't think this issue is going to pass legal mustard. And not just assume that we can continue to create policy that takes and forces people to do things with the property they rightfully own. In another plan, Mayor Lightfoot introduced her overhaul to Chicago's main affordable housing ordinance. She wants to raise the bar for developers required to build affordable housing. The change would increase the percentage of required affordable apartments or condo units developers set aside in their projects for low and moderate income residents. Developers would still be allowed to pay a fee rather than build affordable units. Affordable housing remains a crucial concern for many. Recent studies show Chicago has 333,000 low-income households, but only 217,000 affordable housing units. That's a shortfall of 116,000 units. One other interesting nugget, the council agreed to study universal basic income. Some aldermen want to take federal stimulus money and provide that to struggling Chicagoans. Other aldermen say they can't sign off on that until the city approves reparations. Reporting in the newsroom, Tamon Bradley, WGN News.